everybody thank you for pressing play on today's video my name is Charlene Luciano and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up how cute is this you guys it's a little tote bag how cute and it puts you can put in some candies or a gift card or gift card and candies super cute so I'm going to show you how we made this you guys, all the information and the measurements will be over on my website, www.stampwithshard.com. So if you missed anything, everything will be over there. So I have a piece of designer series paper, and this is cut at two and three quarters by nine. Now this paper here, I actually made myself. It's not Stampin' Up's designer series paper. I just made my own. I have a piece of early espresso, and this is going to be for the, the bottom of the box, and I have this cut at 3 by 4 and we're going to do some scoring on that. I have two strips that are cut at a half an inch by 9 and 3 quarters, and I have another strip that's cut at a half inch by 8 inch. So let's get started. So for the the card box, we're going to start with that first, just because we want to put the box together and let it dry while we work on the other things. So we are going to score this at three quarters of an inch all the way around. And with the lighter one, that is your scoring blade. You're going to turn it around and you're going to do that on all four sides. Three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you're going to get the cross. What you're going to do is you're going to take your paper snips and you are going to cut up to the score line. You're going to do the same. You're going to cut up to the score line on the other side. And then you're going to go on all these small little squares and you're just going to miter the corners. It just helps it when you put the box together to not have all that excess cardstock. And you're going to do that on the other side as well. Like so. You're going to come in with your bone folder and you're going to enforce all your score lines. And then you're going to just glue your box together. And I've got my multi-purpose glue. Love this stuff. And you're just going to put glue on all these little tabs. Like so. i got my pegs or clothespins ready to go. You're going to fold your card in. And line that up with that score line. You're just going to put your clothespin there. And you're going to do the same. Just making sure. Alright, so. Now that we got our box ready. We're going to set that off to the side, give it a couple minutes to dry. I have used some tear and tape and put tear and tape along the top and the bottom. And you're just going to peel it off. Now you have three strips. And one of the strips is shorter, so you just want to make sure and be aware of that. You want to put the shorter one to the side, and you're going to take the longer ones, and you're going to put it at the bottom. Ooh. 
You're going to put it at the bottom. Try not to get my head in the way. Now you will notice that I've cut these strips a little bit longer and I do that for a reason. I'd rather cut off excess than have it too short. So that's why I cut it just a little bit longer than the paper itself. And then you're just going to snip off the excess. Like so. You're going to take your bone folder and you are going to break down the fibers. And the reason why you want to do this is because this box kind of wraps around a little bit. So it just, when you go and you put this on, it just helps it. So you can see, I'm just trying to break down the fibers. Same like you do when you're doing with ribbon and a scissors. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece because this is our handle. So you can see I'm just trying to break it down so now it's curving. All right, so you are going to take some tear and tape. Couldn't find my tear and tape for a minute. And you are going to stick it around your little box. So you're going to bring your box back in, you're going to come with your tape, and you're going to go all the way around your box. Like so. Give it a good press, make sure it's on there. You're going to peel this away. And you're going to put, you're going to line this bottom piece up with the box. And you're just going to start going all the way around pressing as you go how cute and then what you want to do is when you get to this point you're going to stick a piece of tear and tape along here along the edge like so pull that off you're going to wrap this last piece around and then up the sides like so you can more or less see how it's coming along so cute my goodness I have some glue dots here and I got my handle and I'm gonna stick a glue dot on one end and a glue dot on the other end and just to make sure it's gonna stick I'm just gonna stick a little of this glue around the glue dot not on the glue dot but just around it just because if you got anything heavy in there and somebody does grab the handle. <sighs> Look what I've done. Do you see what I've done? <laughs> Wrong way. Oops. All right, so I just went the other way. You're going to stick that in your box. And you're going to stick this side in your box. Like so, 
You're going to give it a little press, hold it in there. And there's your handle. How cute, you guys. Now, again, all the information will be over on my website at www.stampwithshard.com. So if you did miss anything, just head on over there. There are other projects I have done. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Hit the bell. That will notify you every time I do a new video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.